Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. Today I'm going to be working on and styling this weird Scots pine tree. As you can see, it's got a huge chunky base that was the bottom of a large tree, as well as going for this massive chop. I also repotted the plant, which was a bit risky, but it's made it. But one of the problems was the tree was buried so deep into the pot, a lot of the roots were above, were at this level. So in this bank in here, we've actually got loads of roots and I'll have to sort that out at some point, probably next year. I made quite a large cut here and this was a root that was encircling the whole trunk. That's a bit of this tree's history. Since I did that, it's basically been sat for 12 months just trying to survive, which it has done. The needles are nice and green. I did apply some wire and get some of this movement in. But in the last 12 months, I've learned a lot more about wiring and the possibilities of working pine. So I think today, rather than do the roots, which would be an option, I think I'll try and get some interest into the trunk. Every year that passes, this is going to get thicker and harder to bend. So now's a good time to see if I can create something interesting out of this monstrosity. I've applied a nice tight wrap of vet tape and a couple of coils of wire to the trunk. All these three main side branches are all wired as well. And obviously this has got a very chunky base. It's got this long thin trunk, which I plan to allow to thicken over the years. This top section will just be allowed to grow. And if I just leave that to grow, you know, this will thicken up fairly quickly with a bit of luck. So in the future, this will all be removed and this is where the tree's going to be. So I need to get some movement into this lower section. Let's get on it. What I did here was continue the thickest coil of wire around the tree and then put a bend in it. So I've got something to tie to if I want to put some kind of guy wiring or you know some support to help me bend this around because I think this will take some quite a lot of force to get a decent bend into this. So I'm going to try just manually bending this round. Once I've sort of got it into something like the position I want, then I'll have a look at applying a wire to hold it there. So. Oh, that's going nicely there. If I move it here, you can see the sort of full extent of the bend that I'm going for. And obviously I want to be careful I don't rip this completely off the main tree. That's game over. So as I bend, I'm kind of pushing at the same time. But I do want this to be a nice, tight, compact bend. You know, I don't want this just big and wavy. I've applied the wire in this manner. So going round this way. So as I bend, if I can twist it, I want to take this round and back up. It'll tighten the wire, it'll stop the tree breaking, and it should bring this branch up into a better position. So that's what I'm doing there. I'm bending and twisting as much as I can. There. So that's beginning to, that's beginning to do something there. You know, I've got a nice bit of movement into that. I'm greedy, so I want more. Can I get more? I think I can with this branch, with this trunk. So you can see here, without even using any kind of guy wire, I've managed to get this bent right up and around, which is super. What I would like this to do now is, it's come up, down. I would like this section to come across. And then hopefully I can take it back. So. There we go. So that's a real kind of twister 
I put in that. It's nice, it's up, it's across, it's back up. What I don't want to do now is just keep corkscrewing this round. So my aim now is to take this back on itself and kind of back round. Again, this wants to be quite a steep turn back, so I will be using the twist as well, as well as the bend. Like that. There we go. So we're getting somewhere with that now. I've just been doing some thinking and obviously we've got the bend up, down, back up this way. I've no real need to take this back because I've got this branch here, which naturally comes back anyway. So this is working against the corkscrew and I'm going to be removing all this top section anyway. So it kind of doesn't make sense for me to try and bend this whole trunk back, if anything. I'm better off just going a bit more like that with this, like that. And then this branch is now coming round here like that. So that's definitely avoiding that sort of corkscrew effect. Only thing is, as often happens, once you've worked bending it back round, I have lost a bit of the downward dip, not a lot, but I think I can just reinstate some of that just by bringing that round there like that. And that just tightens that area up. Good. This piece that's effectively a sacrifice trunk, what I want to do is allow it lots of light. So I will keep this out of the back, pointing dead straight up. That's going to get loads and loads of sunlight up there. Nice and strong, send all the growth down, help this trunk to thicken and set in place. Uh, that's done, so all I need to do now is work on these three branches. I've just added a small piece of wire to these, these branches, the small ones, just to sort of get them into better positions like that. That comes back quite nicely there. So maybe that'll work out as something. And this one, I think this would be nice coming sort of round like that, perhaps. Maybe there. Needs to come up a bit more of that. Needs to come round and up. The thing is, I don't know whether this will end up staying or that will be removed. And I suppose that will impact what happens with this. I think that this will probably end up maybe being removed. So with that in mind, I'm probably better if I do something like that. Because then it gives that one the chance to be in a, a better position like that. The only thing with that is this one here is very straight now, which I need to sort out. So perhaps coming in, coming out like that, that just adds a bit of something like that. This line is just quite straight, which is not perfect. I'd rather that not be dead straight. Rather it just have that extra bit of interest like that. Has that sorted it? Yeah, yeah, it's just taking it off that straight line, which I prefer. Well, for the first time since I own this, as I say, not much over a year ago, I'm beginning to see a future for it. I'm beginning to see how it could you know, look like a proper bonsai. So I'm really pleased with that and super fun. 
so much fun that I forgot to turn my microphone on earlier. <laughs> the battery ran out and I forgot to turn it back on, so c'est la vie. As always, thanks for joining me. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.